So we're back and what we have here is we have a compound statement. And what I want you to do is I want you to find a simpler statement that is logically equivalent to this statement that I have here. So what statement can be simple but logically equivalent to this huge statement that we have here? So I'm just going to go through that and perhaps I'm going to list the reasons of, uh, of the steps that I take. But this statement is logically equivalent to this P or Q and negated, negated P or negated Q. So if you haven't already noticed, this is the Morgan's Law. And uh, next, the next step is uh, P or Q and P or negated Q. And what this is, is if you have guessed the law of double negation, then you are correct. The law of double negation. Now that we have that, we can go on further. And uh, what we get is we get P and, or it's not and, it's actually or. P or Q and negated Q. And this is something new, but you should have noticed that it is the distributive law. Law of and over or. So you can see that if we take P times or P or and we expand it into this little equation, then we will get P or Q, which which gets this first part of the compound statement. The and is something with P. So whatever is inside the statement, which is the and, that is what we keep for the middle part. And we take P or and we times it by the negated Q to get this P or negated Q. So that is the distributive law of and over or. And moving on, we have this Q and Q and uh, Q and negated Q. And that will give us a contradiction by means of the inverse law. So remember that Q or Q and negated Q or variable and its negated variable using the inverse law, we can get a contradiction or a false. And we know that P or FO or false is just really P by the identity law. So what we have done through this process is we took this huge ass chunk of statement and we really simplified it just to P. And this P is logic equivalent to that statement. Next example, uh, let's see, the next example, let's Try negating and simplifying again. Negate and simplify. And again, it's really good practice for you to stop the video and try to do these on your own. So what I want you to negate and simplify is P implies negated Q or R. So pause the video right now and try to negate and simplify this. Now I'm going to do this anyway. So just watching this and if you decide to not want to do it. So what we want to do is we always want to get rid of the implication first because those things are a pain in the ass. So we're going to get a P or get a Q and R. And what we can do here is, huh, give me a second, something is wrong. Right. So what we did here is we uh, we got rid of this implication, so we negated it to get negated P or negated Q and R. So what we're going to do next is we're going to get we're going to negate. Why? Well, because it told us to negate. So what we what we get from that is what we get from that is the following. So we negate the whole statement. P or Q R and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the Morgan's law to to expand this and 
I'm not listing the reasons anymore because they take a huge chunk of time. And we get, we get a we get Q or R. That's right. And what we do next is using the law of double mutation, we get P. And if we expand this in, so I'm, I'm just going to do two steps in one because I'm lazy. But it shouldn't really be. Well, I'll just do the other two steps. So negating negated P, and we're going to expand this inside to get negating negated Q and negated R. It's not negated R, it's or R. So we get P, this is the law of double negation, P and Q or negated R. So that is our final answer, and that is how we negate and simplify. So one last one last question. P implies Q or R logically equivalent to P or negated Q implies R. So what we're trying to show here is we're trying to show that this is logically equivalent to that. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to turn this statement exactly into that statement. So let's just start off. So P implies QR, right? So what we want to do here, what we want to do first is we want to get rid of this implication. So when we get rid of the implication of data P or Q or R. And uh, by doing the associative law, because these are all ORs, I can just move the brackets around get negated P or Q or R and from this I know that this Q I can really just get two negations from this Q so this is pretty much equal to uh, negated P or negated, 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 Q, negated Q or R and from that point from this point I can really just drag out a negation. So I'll just drag out a negation and then when I drag out a negation this negated P just becomes P and this OR symbol becomes an AND symbol because that's what happens when you drag in drag out a negated symbol. If I put it back put back the negated symbol in it'll become OR again but if I drag it out it'll become AND and I'll drag out one negated symbol from that Q to get P and negated Q and this R stays the same. So we got this part and to make the implication it's simple, which we're, we're just going backwards. So we just get P and we get a Q because all we need is the negation and this OR symbol, this disjunction, to get this implication of R. So this statement is exactly the same as that statement. And what we did is we showed the logic equivalence and we showed that one statement is really equal to the, the other and yeah, that's how we simplify things, that's how we negate things, and this is something that you really have to need to know. You really need to practice on this until you can do this in your sleep. But other than that, please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and I'll see you guys again next time.